in my correspondence, I'm finding that lots of people think they have fungus. Whenever you have a brown spot in your lawn, that is a possibility. We will look at a lawn that actually had a fungal disease and we took steps to improve it. And now that we're about to get some real hot weather here, we hope to permanently eradicate it and get that hybrid Bermuda to grow. We'll show you how we're gonna apply penetrate liquid biotiller, citrol blast. That will depress the activity of bad fungus that's causing these brown spots. So what we're doing is applying a fungicide that's really good for the soil. And that's really the whole premise of my way of combating a fungal disease. It's that building of your soil that is the key to not having this problem year after year. If you use a synthetic fertilizer, it's pretty certain that following year when the conditions are the same, you're going to get the same problem because the natural defense mechanisms, which is microbes in the soil, are killed along with the bad fungi. Let's put things on the soil that are good for it and that also benefit you in the long term by building soil that can sustain lawns without disease. Make sure you use that, that was good. As we treat poorly performing lawns, what we're looking for is signs of the reappearance of trouble. What really is a key with fungal disease is some kind of pattern to the discoloration. On this lawn, we became aware of the problem about August 20th of 2023. We weren't sure what we were going to find other than the lawn wasn't performing well. The lawn was very, very thin. There is a lot of shade here and that was part of the explanation in certain areas. Bermuda won't perform well in shade. If you're in a hot area like Fresno or Phoenix or Las Vegas in the middle of the summer and the Bermuda doesn't look good, then it's either water or some kind of disease. This had all the appearances of a fungal disease, kind of a pattern to it. We turned on the sprinklers. They worked beautifully, fantastic coverage. We were pretty certain then that it was a, a fungal disease. Now, fungal diseases on cool season dirt are very common in August because where we have these 100 degree temperatures on tall fescue, people tend to water too much. You combine heavy soil, lots of water, and a cool season grass like tall fescue, and that's just a perfect environment for fungal disease. So the first thing we did was try to infuse the soil with beneficial fungi and beneficial bacteria and beneficial protozoa and good nematodes. We came back in October of 2023, saw the results, and now we're back in May of 24. We've had a strong progression of improvement. It's starting to get hot here, which is good for Bermuda because that's when it'll grow like crazy. And that's what we wanted to do here. On Saturday, Enrique applied about 12 pounds per thousand nourished biosalt. That nourished biosalt is antifungal. So that's gonna feed the Bermuda and inoculate the soil in a way that we will kill off bad fungus with good fungi. We're gonna apply it at eight ounces per thousand square feet. So we're gonna do 16 ounces of A and 16 ounces of B. That's A right there, which is all the food for the bacteria and then the beneficial bacteria itself. And we don't want those to come together until we're ready to put it in the garden. Now Enrique is gonna fill it with the four gallons of water. We're gonna apply it a little differently. I've showed you in the past how I, in order to do it quickly, I put it in my backpack sprayer and I take the nozzle off and I kind of just flip the thing around. Well, Enrique has an electric backpack sprayer. I don't even know what that brand is. Where did you get it? Amazon. Oh, so you ordered it on Amazon, a battery operated backpack sprayer. So we're just gonna spray the whole four gallons over this whole lawn, kind of a heavy application, but that's good. The more the better. If it's not completely even, that's fine. There's gonna be irrigation that goes on here. It'll disperse out the product. That's about right because that size is a little bit bigger. Yeah, Right. so how much so we got? You got about, uh, uh, you used about a third. Okay. So now on the other side and uh, that thing's uh, spraying like crazy. It actually looks like a shot glass, but uh, we're gonna use it for shots of Citrol Blast. We're gonna go two per 
a uh, thousand square feet so we're gonna go eight three four five six whoops seven eight and we'll fill it with four gallons of water and wash off the mess that I made here and there wow how much faster really goes easy mixture of garlic oil soybean oil peppermint oil thyme oil and uh, some humic acid in it really good natural anti-fungal product it's also really good for your soil really good for your plants so this is chip uh, my vice president of fungal disease if you have questions about your own lawn send them to us we've done quite a few videos on lawns and lawn fungal disease specifically on this lawn we have two other videos can you smell the garlic yeah <laughs> does it make you hungry finally bread and butter <laughs>